Hey, 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 everybody. Hunts here, and welcome to... I'm really saying this. I'm really saying this. Silo, Kadash, Coffee, Cereal, Pink, Dwarvian, everyone. Oh my god, oh my god, holy crap. We're back, guys! It has been close to... I'm gonna say two years now. It's been almost two years now. We are back to Stardew Valley, guys. Not only are we back to Stardew Valley, we are back to the History Talk Farm. Give a round of applause, guys. Give a round of applause. It's because of you. It's because you guys are beautiful, wonderful, and lovely individuals that we are back to History Talk Farm, where we play Stardew Valley and talk history all at the same time. Sometimes it goes fabulous, sometimes it goes, well, it goes normally for us, and you all know what that means. So, welcome to Season 2! So sit back guys, relax, grab a snack, and don't forget to yell at your screen. Yeah, it's been two years, so expect so much rust. It's almost been two years since I played Stardew Valley. Yeah, this, uh, we're starting the year spring two. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I know this isn't going to be efficient. So if you guys have any comments, don't forget to leave that down below. With this being the first, well, wow, first episode of season two, smash that like button. Show them the love, guys. Show the foxy love and tell me, show me what you want to see. E -e -e -e. Also, if you guys have any questions, leave that in the comments down below. What history do you want to see in season two? We usually go with two days and then get a little ep uh, break in. So usually a season goes by um, 25 days about five six episodes fingers crossed usually so we have a, quite a few discussion so if you have a history question leave that down in the comments below <sighs> i can't believe we're back episode one might not have a history t topic if it does it is on the history of agriculture i think that would make sense since we are playing stardew valley an agricultural game i believe we have covered this topic once before in season one but again two years so down below will also be the link to season one so if you want to check back on all the old history how the farm has developed definitely take a lucky lucky gandaloo through all of that but we are back and let's get to it oh this is gonna be awesome this is gonna be awesome i hope that's gonna be awesome let's go to it let's get to hunts history dog farm Let's see if I remember the controls. We're not going to do fishing. I I don't know how the fishing's going to go. But, ooh, look at all that money. We have the skull key. There's our farm. Ooh, we got some jam to begin with. What's our seeds looking like? Uh, there we go. We got mm, quite a few seeds. Wait. Uh, ah. Coffee is spring. Okay, yeah, we want some coffee. Yay, coffee. Oh, yeah, some parsnips. I want to leave... Uh, we'll take out everything. Oh, uh, we have grape. Uh, uh, spring. Spring. Fall, fall. Ancient seeds, yes. Spring, yes. Summer. Bok choy is fall, corn is summer fall, cranberry spring seeds fall, eggplant seeds is fall, grape fall, hops summer, kale is spring, okay, melon summer, mixed seeds is just everything, wheat is summer, tulips is spring, spring, I mean summer, summer fall, strawberries, okay. Star food. 
Okay, a rare seed, so we'll do that one. So it takes. Wait, where's the rare seed? Uh. Oh, that's for fall. Never mind. Um, pumpkin fall potatoes. Peppers. Okay, I think we have. I'm gonna just put these two here for now. Okay. I'll deal with that later. Let's get to farming, guys. Kent! Um, hello there. My name's Kent. I just got back last night from overseas. My wife told me that a new farmer had moved in while I was gone. Who's Kent? Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'll see you around. Okay. Who are you? Like, seriously. Who are you? Oh, uh, we got some mail, looks like. Oh wow, raw materials has increased. Well, that's kind of annoying. Okay, well we gotta clear out all this fun jazz. We got quite a bit. Oh, our cherry tree has grown. Yay, we got cherry guys. I completely forgot we grew a cherry. Okay. So I got a, a hoe. So I think, I forget, is this one, two? I do think it grows out. It goes two out. One, two. I think it does this. As it's been a while since we played, guys. Oh, we had a lag spike there. Sorry. All right, so this will be our strawberries. Strawberries and... Tulips. And... Kale. Okay. I need to water. Yeah, I think that I think this is right. Oh wow, that was a lag spike like no other. Holy crap! Yeah, I think this is right. And we do have all the cows out there, and our goats. Oh god, let's not smack them, please. Yeah, this... Yeah, this feels right. All the cows... This will be parsnips, kale, potatoes, cow love, If I remember correctly, then this is just one. Yeah, sorry that day one, day one's just gonna be us setting up the farm, guys. So I do apologize about that. But hey, you know, it's Stardew Valley's just a fun little game. Now, I know I'm not putting everything 
optimal, so I apologize. Let the coffee grow. Oh, I should be putting... Oh, I should put fertilizer down. Oops. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm sorry, guys. There's, really, there's fertilizer in the game. Quality fertilizer, yeah. Makes things grow faster. Then they'll like speed grow. You kind of want that for the coffee. Or the strawberries. Especially the strawberries. Oops. Well, I guess we'll do some fertilizer, though. I think this is... yeah. Thank you. I need water. No, wa water. At least the nice thing when the sprinklers. We just need to water once. Uh. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> hey, no. Ah, the chickens in love. I love the animals. Like, so cute. Oh, we do have a pail, so we do need to milk. And check eggs, I believe, yeah. Give them some hay, because they definitely do need to eat. Big, big farm. Good, good. Um, I think I need to milk them all. Dracon is too young to produce me. Oh, hi, hey, we named these guys. Dracon! Hi, Dracon. Sil Silo Cow. Uh, 
Right, we named all the little guys, didn't we? Oh. Okay. Pyro. Butchers is a baby goat. And we have Kimmy. Oh, right. Oh, my God. It's been so long, guys. Holy crud. All right, I want to get the greenhouse. Okay, you know what? I think that's going to be our goal is to get the greenhouse up and going. Do the greenhouse. Community center. Okay. Greenhouse. I need an animal bundle. Okay, so I need large goat milk or wool. Okay, so got it. We need large goat milk and wool because we have everything else or oh, wool do we have sheep i don't think we have sheep we have a cow a cat you know so i think we're going for the goat milk got it all right maybe maybe i can buy it all right we have a little farm out here Thank you. A lot of trees will be grown out this way, right? Because we cut down a lot of them. All right. Yes, yes, yes. This is the southern part of the town. Fishing. Right, you could buy it from here when this guy comes on Sundays, Mondays? Something like that. Yeah, the Forbidden Forest open. So if we want where we can get that. Water and pale, it's getting a little dark. Oh, we got dandelion. Cool. And we basically have all of our money. I will want to exchange something for something. Something for something. <laughs> I want, I, I, I want to make sure I get something in. Maybe we didn't buy anything, but I still want... Oh, hey, worms? Looks like worms. Nope. Oh, I guess they're not dancing, so they won't be. Oh, hello. Hey, spring onions. Nice. Right, so they do grow down here. So if you ever need a quick influx of cash, you can get it just by coming south of your map. South of your farm. In this area, you can get a lot of spring onions. I mean, they don't sell for much, but hey, you know what? It's something. It is something. Oh, we also have a jam going. We have the cherry. We got the cherry tree. Oh, we got some eggs, which we can sell too. The farm. Up this way. I think the cherry tree will produce a cherry every single day now. Cute. Do I have any other trees or is that my only tree? I think that would be my only tree. Alright, we got some hay, which is good because like, everything eats and we need that. 
Oh, that's a tree blocking away. Right, what do we have? We have stuff. Some I'm a hoarder. Um, we got a lot of that stuff. Junk. We do have some goals, just in case we might need that for quests, I guess. A lot of fish. Three gold strawberries. That's what this stuff is. Our foraging stuff, okay. Our geodes. Alright, we have to go mining because I think I need iridium. So I can make... Iridium sprinklers. We need one iridium bar. One gold bar. And one battery pack. I think this will make a bar. I'll need that. And yeah, we have gold. We don't have a gold bar, but I have gold to make a gold bar, I think. No, I do have gold bars. Never mind. I have a gold bars. I need the iridium. I think I need one more thing. Oh, batteries. I think I saw that over here. No. I thought you were getting super late. Oh, my. Um. Did I, did I see battery? Yo, what, I, I thought I had a battery. No. Oh, I do have. Okay. Oh, it needs five. Okay. I mean, I'm reloading, so I do apologize, guys. Crystal fruit jelly. No, don't eat the spring onion. All right, tab cycles through all four of your things now. That is cool. I think that was in an update that it does that. I think. Again, it's been a very, very long time. But I think that's the case. It is midnight now. Okay, so. Foraging. Put that back. I think this is in the kitchen. It is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, right, we do have honey. Oh, I wanna get this done really quick. So, three blueberries. Okay, blueberries going. Oh, the cat's in a bed! How cute! Okay. Yeah, let's go to sleep. First night, done, guys. So I said there might not be much history being discussed because of how... You know... I'll try and get everything done. Hey, but hey! We made a thousand bucks! So that is nice. Your orange tree wasn't able to grow because, wait, not enough light. Oh. It's raining. Wait, we have an orange tree? Doing beautiful and sunny tomorrow. That's nice. Okay. Wait, what's in here? Oh, we got food. Okay. Got food there. Oh, wait, I haven't read the, this letter. Oh, Pierre has some stuff. Cool. Thank you, Robin. That was nice of her. Right, we have... Ooh, right, we have... These. We might want to get a, like... The one I'm looking for. Flowers! We want to go up here and look for flowers. But first, let's go check our animals. 
I still know where the orange tree is, though. No, like, I have that. Wait, where is the orange? Okay, guys, where's our orange tree? Wait, I have to have planted that somewhere. I wish you could have, like, a map of your farm. Well, I mean, okay, you can see something, which is kind of cool, but... Where's my orange tree? I have cherries. That means I must have oranges. No. Let's see, do we have a tree here? No, that's this one. Oh, well, the nice thing is we have a lot of wood if we needed it. Um, still don't know where the orange tree is though. Maybe that didn't say orange tree and I misread that. I mean, that's a possibility. Unless one of these is an orange tree. Oh, that could be. Oh god, that means I gotta be careful and not kind down stuff. Uh... Okay. Hmm. You know, I wonder, is this an orange? No! So I hope that wasn't the one tree. They definitely did not mean to chomp that. And that was the one tree. That thing was expensive. Oh. Fudge nuggets. Okay. Well then. I have a seed maker. No. But I think... If I remember correctly, there's a way to make a tree. No, what's that wood again? Tree fertilizer? That's new. Okay, there was, there was an update, so things have changed a little bit. That is for sure. Um, Charcoal, kill, whoop, totem, bomb, wood path, baits, scarecrow, torches, seed maker, fruit tree, Props. God, I hope I just didn't break the orange tree. All I'm saying is I hope I didn't break the orange tree. Because if I did, I'll be sad. Unless I planted it somewhere else off the farm. Which, I mean, I feel that's possible. Don't know. Hey, the lines. Daffodils. Well, let's go see Pierre. Hey, more dinner lines. Alright, as we walk, let's talk history. Ah, history. Alright, so farming. Why? why? Why is farming such a big deal? Well, I mean, if you didn't have farming, we'd all be hunters and gatherers, which was the earliest form of civilization for us, humans. Ooh, bounty board. Sure, I gotta go fishing. Oh crap, I gotta go fishing. 
Oh, his door looks bigger. Hey, Pierre. Um. Rice! Oh my god. Sure. Let's grow some rice. Garlic? Sure. That's new. Apricot, cherry, so spring. You know, let's let's buy it. If I did chop it down, thick. But hey, if we did, we have a new one growing. And 28 days, that'd be good for summer. All right, so we got quite a few new things to plant. Cool. So okay, back to farming. Early civilization was hunted gatherers. That means it was a more nomadic way of living. Let me grow a water. <laughs> hey, guess what? Said grow near water. Our entire freaking map is water. Water, 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 water. Do I have a small little island I can use for this? I, I can do this. I say small because I kind of want to focus. Oh wait, first the tree. Um, somewhere I know I won't accidentally break it. Um, <laughs> right, the chair is here. Oh, I really do think that was... Ah, oh, fudge nuggets. <laughs> Alright, so rice. Sure. It said near water. Okay, that is cool. That is cool. Garlic. 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 I guess I'll do some mixed seeds. I mean, that makes sense. And we have a lot of those. Um, I want... Many mixed seeds. Okay, I love... I don't know if I just found this tab function, or it's always been there, and I've just been a dodo. And never noticed it. But that's nice. Pierre, I want uh, flower seeds. Hey, right, flower seeds for the bees. Uh, what flowers do? Okay, so back to. Oh my god. This is gonna be. This is gonna be how the season goes. History. Oh, I have to do this. Back to history. Oh, I have to do this. So, agriculture, hunter gatherers. There have been ideas, studies, topics that. Farming has always taken place. It's not something new. Catalog, cherry, seven. Uh, ooh, pomegranates. Fall, okay. Well, I wanna go for apple tree, right? Fall, yeah. But no, uh, uh what, tulips? Jazz? Blue puff. Okay. 
Unless it was just jazz. Cause jazz. Music. Yeah, just now my fingers to jazz. Alright. So the Hassan says that we have always had a form of agriculture. So farming. Why? Well, nomadic society, yes, it might have been nomadic. But the idea of everyone just always, always moving? No, come on. That makes zero sense. Why would everyone always constantly... No! <sighs> yeah, I really gotta get used to this. Why would everyone always, always be constantly on the move? Oh, flowers. When, say... The animals, if you're following animals, if they are stay, staying in one location for a little bit of time, because, hey, abundance of food, water, less natural predators, why move all the time? There's no need to move, like, constantly. Still got to figure out what I'm doing with you. There is no reason to move constantly. Thus, everyone would stay in the same location for a few days. Also, if the family, thinking family farm, has a lot of kids, like, growing, like, at this moment, hey, we have this child, this child, this child has been born. We have a birth of five kids in the family. And the family has about 30 people total. You just had a sixth of the population born. It's very, very difficult to travel with babies. They need at least a couple years so they can fend for themselves. I'm saying fend for themselves. They can walk. They can talk. They can call for help. And if you have a screaming baby and you're being chased, kind of difficult. So they would be sedentary for a little while. Thus being sedentary. Hey, we got a geo. Cool. Thus being sedentary, they would either... They would farm. There would be a form of farming. So it's not a new idea. Farming has been around for a while. These guys really eat all around. Okay. Buffy. I'm trying to sleep. Black Wolf. Goat. Uh, okay. I'll, yeah. I forgot we named everyone. Ah. Cute. Yeah, we got some milk. Okay, sorry right, guys, you're too young. I, mm, yeah, makes sense. Got some hay, good. So, I'm saying so, I don't like saying so, but I'm saying so. Thus, there was quite a bit of farming going on because hey you need this you need this type of living you need a constant source of food so farms were occurring it's not a new concept and as people began to farm more and more they got more experience doing that that means make me, make me cheese please with more experience, I mean, they'll be able to grow crops quicker. They have better techniques. That means you get more yield. The more yield you have, the less people you need to farm. And if they're in a certain location, the less people you need to farm, the more luxury crafts can be done. You can get into bronze working, bronze smithing, mining in an area. And that will make farming even easier. And when farming becomes easier, the need to be more... Mobile goes down heavily, and thus we get a, an evolute change from the hunting gathering to more crops. 
And with that, they can have more, with the farming, also comes more livestock. Because you need a constant source of food for livestock. Also, another reason why hunter-gatherers were more mobile, because they need to feed their livestock. So, say, sheep, cattle, some form of livestock. With more farming, they could stay longer, have a constant source of food. Unless their animals have more food, that means they have more livestock. It's just a circle effect. More Better farming techniques, more food, allowing to more livestock, which means easier living, which means more luxury to get more goods, means better technology, and just keep going in a circle and keeps getting better and better and better and better until you have the type of society we have today, where farmers only take up a small percentage of our population. Well, I'm thinking in the United States. There's still farming, and you still need farmers. Don't take that away. You still need farmers. The amount of them has definitely, or the demand for them has definitely gone down since it used to be. And archaeologists and paleontologists have traced the origins of farming to around 10,000 years ago. So the big shift from constant hunting gatherers to full sedentary farming agricultural lifestyle because that is where major civilizations actually start taking place we have more than just a 30 family member gathering you'll have two four ten of these families so that's over 300 people coming together forming a community a town a city a village and of course it's going to start with the more fertile plains are in this valley and the yangtze river in china where you very, very profitable, easy farming locations where they can have higher degree of crops, successful crops, bigger yields. I'm not sh fruit. Right. Um, I just want to keep my. Oh yeah, that's right. Bum bum. Yay cherries! I have pickled cherries. How do I have pickled cherries? What can the pickled cherries? What the heck? Um, do I want to get bars? I don't think I want to get bars going just yet. Hey, we got some. Ooh, hey. Guys, we got some wine. Cool. No. More wine. Yay. I definitely want the w more wine going. Um, just something for now. All right, so that's day two. Wow, we have gone. I can't believe we've already done day two. That's gonna be the end. But before I forget, that Yangtze in this river, that is where the farming really took off. So about 10,000 years ago, that is where you have massive growth of huge farms with more civilization. And it is known as the first domestic crops in later livestock. Great numbers, enough to have a true shift from hunter-gatherer society to a farming society. Next episode, we'll go into more depth into this because hey, it's fun, it's history. And until you guys ask me some questions, we'll cover a little bit of agriculture and the history of farming. But hello, we are back. I love you all. Don't forget to hit that like, smash it like there's no tomorrow. And we will all see you next time. Episodes will be coming out every Tuesday and Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll be excited to see you all. Till then, be sexy, be wonderful, and I love you all, alligators. Peace.